Hi, I'm Yoram, founder of Movies Everywhere, a platform that we see here. Movies Everywhere allows you to conduct virtual and hybrid events, usually cinematic events, and also sell your videos as VOD. Usually, Movies Everywhere is perceived as a platform where you spend money. What I'm going to show you in this video is how you can make money from Movies Everywhere pretty quickly with very low risk and low and small effort. Uh, let's start with the event. Uh, which is more elaborate. And uh, I prepared here an event called How to Make Money from Movies Everywhere. And this event is uh, pretty basic. Uh, we allow up to three participants for free. And higher than that, uh, you would have to upgrade to add them more uh, users. Now, let me, I'll skip all the many rich features of movies everywhere because they're not the subject of this video, but basically they allow you to integrate meeting platforms and have a screening, a Q&A and panel all on the same page, sending invitations, charge money, see your revenue, etc. cetera, um, add geographical blocking and stuff. But let me here touch it, our topic here, which is how to make money. So. I'm going back to the uh, <clears throat> to the recent declaration I made that every event is free for with up to three participants. When I want to upgrade, I will have to pay. Movies everywhere. Now there are two paths of payment. One of them is the 50 euros per 50 uh, users, 50 euros per 50 users, and we allow up to 1,000, but I will get to it later. And the other one is a reduced price of 22 euros, but then. I would have to share my revenue, my ticket sales, will have to give 15% to Movies Everywhere in exchange for the reduced price. And again, I can have more users, but I'll get to it later. So let's first see how I can, as a user, uh, recoup my expense, my investment the, for the 50 euros and then for the 22 euros. So let's assume that I have uh, sold a ticket for the uh, event for five euros. By the way, as of today, uh, five euros more or less equal uh, five dollars. So I will use the same um, currencies here. We charge as a system. Since it's European, we charge in euros. And let's say that I am going to charge my uh, audience five euros for the event, which is pretty much um, fair, I think, because it includes, in my case, a film and Q&A and a panel. That's five dollars is fair enough. So assuming that I charge five dollars, and let me go to the other document I prepared. You can see that for, for a 50 euros event, which is basic on Movies Everywhere, with 50 users, I will um, begin to make a profit, actually recoup my investment and make a profit from the 11th user. That means the first 10 users are used to pay back what I pay to Movies Everywhere. Then for the, la the other, the rest 40 viewers, I begin to make a profit, which could reach to 200 euros if I filled up and sold all the tickets for the 50 users. What happens after 50 users? We'll see it shortly. So that is the case in which I chose to pay 50 euros and take all the revenue. Now, I want to lower my risk or I don't have a budget and I choose the other path, which is 22 euros and sharing 15% with movies everywhere. Let's go back to the document I prepared. And in this case, again, the event is five euros per ticket. I paid 22 euros to movies everywhere for the first 50 users. I shared 15% of the revenue with movies everywhere, that, which means that I gain 4.25 euros from each ticket because the, the rest is going to movies everywhere. <clears throat> then in that case, I begin to recoup my investment and make a profit from the seventh user. How difficult it is to sell seven tickets, I assume that not so hard, especially not, not with your amazing film. That means that with the rest 43 users, okay, because I recoup my investment with seven users, the rest 43 users are yours. And if you gain 4.25 euros for, for a user, you actually gain 182 euros, 0.75 uh, profit. That is for the first 50 users. Now, when we go up with users, the price you pay to movies everywhere is reduced. Let's have a look at it now. If you choose to have 200 users event, which means we counted from 51st user to the 200, 
you actually in in the path in which you pay the full amount and get 100% of the revenue you actually pay the first 50 euros and then another 40 euros together 90 euros so you, you now have to recoup 90 euros but that's actually quite easy because now you pay much less than 1 euro per user for the last for the rest 150 users let's go to the other table and here, the next step would be from the 51st user to the 200. And again, this path is the 100% revenue, which means you pay 90 euros to movies everywhere. And that means that you can recoup your investment and start to make a profit after 18 users. Well, in an event in which you plan to invite 200 people, um, it's again, pretty much easy to have at least 18 users and all the rest is just profit bonus, even if you don't fill up the event with up to 200 people. But if you did fill the event with 200 people, um, now minus the 18 which you were used to recoup the investment, you can make a profit from 182 users, which pay each $5, because this is the main assumption, then you can make 900 euros profit. That means that it's very easy and quick to make a profit, to recoup the investment and make a profit with movies everywhere. Now let's go to the other path in which you um, <clears throat> chose the that path in which you chose to the reduce price. Here again, let me go to the 200 users. In this case, 200 users will cost you only 39 euros in, instead of 90 euros per in in the 100% revenue path. Here you pay 39 users, 39 euros, sorry, and you still have to pay movies everywhere 15% of each ticket sale. That means again, lower risk for you and less revenue, but not, not so less, it's actually pretty much uh, economical because let's look at this uh, uh, example. You pay an additional 17 euros, okay, the 22 euros which you paid for the first 50 users, additional 17 euros for the next 150 users, that equals 39 euros altogether for an event of 200 people with while sharing 15% with movies everywhere. Okay, 15% go to movies everywhere. The, the, the revenue you get is always the same, 4.25 euros, assuming that an event was sold for five euros per ticket. And then you recoup your investment after 10 users. Pretty, pretty uh, quick which means that you can make a profit from the rest 190 users. And if you filled up the event and sold all the tickets, you make a profit of 285 and 55 euros because of 4.25 um, revenue per ticket multiplied in 190 users, which are after the recoupment of the investment. And I think the numbers speak for themselves. It's pretty much profitable. One important comment, which I didn't mention so far, all the payments are bound to have a processing fee. Now it's important to, to, um, to explain if you don't know it yet, that the processing fee is actually paid for the credit card companies and the other payment processor, processors like Stripe, PayPal, etc. It's not going to us, it's not our profit actually we paid at that price. So it's not our price, it's something that is that exists in every transaction through uh, credit system. Now let's move to the VOD. VOD, it's much simpler. This is why I left it to, to, to the end. Every VOD you create, every upload you made is free. There's no setup fee, no maintenance fee. You can upload as many files as you want and create films from them and uh, upload to, to our system, then create VODs from the files you upload, set rental periods, set a price, say geographical location. You pay nothing for that. The only thing that you pay is 15% to us only when you sell your VOD. And when you compare it to other platforms, that's either setup fee or maintenance fee or subscription fee like Vimeo On Demand. And um, they might give you a higher percentage, slightly higher percentage, but we take nothing. It's basically free. That's why I kept VOD for the, for the, to the end because the uh, mechanism is, is much uh, simpler. I hope you understood. I know it was fast. It will always also be accompanied by an article with examples. 
and uh, I'm, I also, I'm in a way, apologize for the informal um, structure of this video, but I prefer to be um, uh, intuitive and run forward without a professional narrator, because uh, that's the way we do it in our demonstrations. If you have any question, please write to us to info.movieseverywhere.net. Thanks very much.